The Handmaid's Tale Season 5 Episode 4 Theories and Predictions Explained With Episode 3 of the show recently being released and the foundations well and truly being laid down for the rest of the season to build upon, it looks like conflict is definitely going to erupt as June sets to embark on a mission of rescuing her daughter from Gilead. So with that, I thought I'd give my theories and predictions to what I think is going to happen in the next episode of the show. So let's get into it. Here is The Handmaid's Tale Season 5 Episode 4, Theories and Predictions Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. I'm going to break this video down by each individual character arc and what I think their involvement will be in the next episode. June. The next episode of the show is titled Dear Offred. June was referred to as Offred in the early days of the show as it stood for Of Fred's when she was Fred's handmaid. So I think it could be tying back to the early episodes of the show. We've seen her struggle to get to grips with the outside world as she continually battles with the hold that Gilead has over her. So we could see her re-enter the parts of her mind and when she had adopted the name of Offred. Her main driving motivator is to get her daughter Hannah back from Gilead. And with the revelation that she's now ready to go off to a school of how to be a wife, she's going to want to get her back even sooner. The escapees stated how they were going to kill a few commanders in the next few days in a way that wasn't a nice way to go. So I feel we could see June potentially partaking in that activity as a way of being able to get closer to Gilead, taking out a few high commanders and weakening the hold slightly. She now has Serena on her side of the border, so I think that she'll do all that she can to get some information from her on the whereabouts of her daughter, maybe even work up a deal in order to get her back. We know that Hannah is in the care of Commander Mackenzie, and with him sending her there when she wanted to stay, she does hold some valuable information. I think we're going to see June's gradual descent into chaos. We've been teased so far earlier on in the season, and with her burying the weapon right at the start, that's definitely something that's going to be dug up and be used on somebody in the near future, especially judging by the trailer where we see her in public looking like it was about to kick off. Serena At the end of episode 3, we saw Serena had returned back to Canada much to her disappointment in order to act as global ambassador for Gilead. We saw that upon her arrival, there was a growing arm of supporters that surrounded her, which showed the support that she had following on from the funeral of her husband Fred, but it could also show the support of Gilead's ways and teachings, which could prove to be detrimental for Canada. The funeral was done as a way of provoking June and showing her that she had her daughter Hannah, but it appears as though it's now backfired as she's been sent back to Canada. Originally, she had all intentions in staying in Gilead, where she would have been safer and out of June's reach, whereas at the end, we saw that June was a matter of centimetres away from her, following the taunting. I think we'll see Serena try and steer clear of June, and with the protection of Mark, that will be made possible. At the border, there's a group of people who managed to escape who could well be after the blood of Serena, upon hearing that she's back in the country. I imagine the birth of her child is also imminent too. The connection that she's formed with Mark could prove to show a conflict of interest for him, and could go against June and the quest that she's embarking on. In the trailer, it looks as though she's fully embodied the new role that she has as ambassador, and she's doing it to show the people that there's a better way to live, which means that the small support that she's generated could grow even stronger as time goes on. The Handmaids, including Aunt Lydia. With Janine waking up and Aunt Lydia having a relieved look on her face, we still don't know the fate of Esther, who was behind the poisoning. I don't think that Esther is going to die following the poisoning. I think we'll see her wake up and either Esther will undergo extreme punishment for her actions, or I feel we may see Janine spare her from the trouble that she caused. We don't know if anybody other than the two of them know that it was Esther who poisoned it, so we could see Janine not point the finger of blame at her former friend. Janine knows what it's like to go through the torture, so she may not want to inflict the pain onto another, even though she did try to kill her. Aunt Lydia was praying and saying that she'd change her ways if Janine were to wake up, and with her actually waking up, we could see Lydia change the way that she approaches the handmaids moving forwards. It also alludes to that by what she stated in the trailer. Nick. Nick is with his wife Rose, but I get the sense that he's with her for the wrong reasons. To act as a mask to the position that he holds. We heard earlier on in episode 3 that if a man is not married to a woman, they're perceived to hold less power and there's no place in leadership. So I think he's only doing it to act as cover to his true thoughts and feelings. He still cares for June, as we saw with the flashbacks when he was on the phone to her, and I don't think anything is going to change there. 
He has eyes on him, with Commander McKenzie coming into the picture, so I think he'll be laying low for the next few episodes due to not wanting to cause a scene or raise suspicions further, when it looks like there are already suspicions around his loyalty. Commander McKenzie Commander McKenzie made his first appearance in Episode 3, and he came across as an individual that was extremely menacing, yet held a calm demeanour. Most of his involvement was in conversation about June and how they need to get rid of her, since she's not settled since moving to Canada, and she's still causing problems from the other side of the border. Mackenzie is fathering Hannah, June's daughter, who's known as Agnes in Gilead, and he stated how she's strong and she'll understand when she has to, meaning that although he's fearful of his family's life, I think we'll see him work out a way in which to take June down and kill her, revealing to Hannah one day why he did what he did. There's a lot that looks as though is going to happen as we set to embark on episode 4 of the show, and it's only going to get bigger and the chances of eruption are further increasing. I can't wait to see what the next episode is going to bring. So, there you have it. The Handmaid's Tale Season 5 Episode 4 Theories and Predictions Explained. If you'd like to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions and Character Breakdowns, then click on the I button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you want to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think is going to happen? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.